normally I wear a liner under my pants, but it's so hot, I'm just wearing my underwear. <laughs> All right, these are the best gloves I've ever had, but they are not good for hot weather. Man, do they not breathe. Hello, sun. <laughs> Look at the grass. It's growing. Look at the Cadillac. It's shiny. I've been avoiding driving it because it's, you know, so rainy and muddy outside. But look at this. <laughs> Lush, lush vegetation. Oh, you know what it is? It's lunchtime ride number four. My pastor, if you watched, I think my last video, you know he bought a 1982 Kawasaki KZ 750. 6,000 miles on the bike, maybe almost seven, I forget, but it was in the 6,000s. Low mileage, sounds great. Need some tweakins. He is a busy man, and I have a feeling he was not going to get to this stuff anytime soon. He doesn't have the tools I have. He doesn't have perhaps the experience with the mechanics. I don't know. But I asked him, I said, hey, would you mind if I took it into my garage? Tuned it all up for you. Got it roadworthy. You know, full inspection. Make sure I fix anything that's wrong with it so it's safe. He said yes. He said that'd be great, and he was very thankful for it. So I'm excited to get started. And I'm going to go pick it up today. So this is lunchtime ride, but we're going to append it like we did last time with a little later in the evening video files of me bringing it home. And we'll do a little walk around so you can see what it looks like. And uh, maybe we'll point out some things that needs doing. Oh, it's good to be back on the bike. We got a bike ahead. Doing it, getting it done. I did it quick. Oh, did it do it again? Same scenario? We're gonna play that back and see if we lost power. What the heck is doing that? Battery's tight. What would kill power? What would zero dial? Power commander. I think that's fuel going to zero. Doing it. Let's see if we can kill the motor. Maybe it's just a once per ride kind of a thing. Downtown Woodstock, and I forgot to do the Woodstock thing. So here it is, Woodstock. Beautiful downtown. Any exotics at all? It's a Lexus SUV, nah, no, it's not there. Volvo, that's, I mean, they're nice. Honda CRV, top of the line. Oh, I think I know. Maybe I know what that stall out is. When I let the clutch out at speed when I'm idling, it drops it below. It drops it below a certain RPM that I think has a zero in the fuel cell map. That might be it. Basically, I'm stalling it out. So it goes to zero fuel. And then when I let the clutch out, it brings the RPMs back up, the fuel turns back on. I think I nailed it. I think I got it. I don't think anything's broke. I might want to add a couple value points into those zeros though, below idle. That might do it. All right, we're gonna jump off Route 4 to the bridge, cross the river, and head towards Queechee and go around the block. It's cool. Hope this guy waits for me. He is. Ah, oh, look at this beautiful place. Got the road all to myself. You can't beat that. That's what you want. It's what you must have. Another golf course. And a Prius. Trying to kill me. It happens. Oh, that swimming pool. <laughs> it looks so good. Beautiful day. 
Thank you, Lord. Oh, what a beautiful turn. Beautiful set of turns. <laughs> All downhill. Banked. <laughs> All right, this is, what, West Hartland? I think, might have that wrong. Or Hartford, Hartland? We'll find out, Hartford. West Hartford, hey, Hartland, Hartford, it's, it's hard. It's hard living here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a new way I've learned about from my pastor. He hasn't even been here that long and he knows the roads better than I do. There's a new road up here I've never been on until recently beautiful little bridge that crosses the river and the road is amazing Sharon Sharon Vermont folks look at this beautiful bridge look at the BMW spoiling the view Isn't this thing cool wow look at that water What a beautiful spot. I'm gonna take a picture. Dang. Oh yeah. Gondet. Gondet. Wow, it's beautiful out here. I don't know if that picture's worth a darn, but it's what I did. Whoo, this road is the cool. Look, other people think so too. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This goes right back to the Pomfret racetrack. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. It just climbs and climbs. Still climbing. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha. We just crested over the top. <laughs> Downhill we go. Fantastic. And it's smooth. Brand new pavement. How Hill Road. Wow, this road's great. It's got so many curves and climbs, but it's got some nice open straights. Relatively speaking, of course. This is amazing, amazing road. And this is it. Onto the Pomfret racetrack. The beauty. The speed. Oh, the bug. All right, we are back in downtown Woodstock. Tonight, we visit Pastor Doug and we pick up his bike, bring it home. Fix it up. Just fix it. All it. No exotics. There is a Porsche convertible. But it's like a commuter for around here. It's nice. It's real nice. So we're just heading back home. And then tonight my wife's going to drop me off at Pastor's house. And we will get on the KZ750. Ride it home. It's got a really heavy clutch. It needs some alignment on that cable. Might need a new cable too. Anyways, we'll go through it. We'll make a whole new video too. Stay right there. I'm gonna cut this and just pick it up on my way to Pastor Doug's house. Again, stay right there. I'll be right back. What did you want, like 30, 40 more horsepower? Well, it's just that <laughs> when you're, when you're you know, going yeah. up and then you, you get to like... Cruising 50, speed. 50, she didn't have anything more to... Yeah, falls flat. Wait a Sounds like fuel starvation. Yeah. What I do right now, I was hoping I could get you rolling this summer. Okay. So at least you could get some rides in, hopefully. Yes. Uh, and then I'm going to see if I can get this cleaned up. This is too tight. Yeah. Way too tight. But um, And then I'll, I'll clean detail. And then going down the road in the winter, mm -hmm. you know, maybe pull wheels off. Let's look at the wheel bearings. Let's, you know, make sure it's proper. 
my dad's fault. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna we have golf lessons tonight. Thanks for the ride. All right, thanks, brother. Whoa. So the brakes don't work. I feel like they're just, whoa, filled with air. Clutch is not adjusted correctly. Man, the seat is soft. <laughs> Look at this. I'm on a 40-year-old bike. The engine, though. I'm not hating the engine. It's got some issues, but I don't think the turn signals work. And I don't like the way that feels at all. So I mean, need to replace the turn signal doodad. Oh, that clutch feels horrible. And I think the clutch is okay, but it's adjusted so wrong. There's no play in it. The cable cinch too tight. Man, there's no looseness in that cable. That's probably the problem. <laughs> this mirror is just on there to meet the law's requirement. I like it though. It's cool. Actually handles real well. Good balance. I think it's running real lean. Yeah, that's an exhaust leak. Hopefully we can fix that. There's the bog. <laughs> it just doesn't want to go. It's definitely got a problem. Fuel delivery. We got vibration. We could give it a sink. 6,069 miles. Incredible. It's balanced. I didn't expect it to feel this good. But it actually is very balanced, easy to ride. Handles great, very flickable. Suspension feels good. Whoo, just dies, can't even go up a hill. Can't get out of its own way. Man, I hope he's not dragging a piston. We could have a broken connecting rod. That does not sound right. Hopefully it doesn't have a bad bearing. These air-cooled engines, man, they were very vulnerable. If you sat still for too long, you let this thing get too hot, you could boil the oil right out of them and spin a bearing. I hope not. That would really be terrible. The seat's hilarious. It's like a big, huge car wash sponge with leather or vinyl wrap around it. it feels like it's got a ton of springs in it, too, like a mattress. It's wildly comfortable and very stable. Very little vibration coming through the bike. Very isolated, lots of rubber isolation. That lack of horsepower though. Do you hear that? That does sound like an exhaust leak, doesn't it? Valves? Could be valves. Headset feels a little loose. I'll check that too. It's a 40 year old bike. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, that sounds terrible. It's just 6,000 miles unless that odometer's been modified. 6,000 miles, I mean, that's nothing. Love these gauges, by the way. <laughs> it's just so classic. It is running better. The longer I ride, Definitely got a problem though. All right, homeward bound. Somebody did a reline of the gas tank. I think it was rusty. It's funny too, there's no gear indicator other than neutral. That's the way it used to be. Man, that front brake is useless. You really gotta put the squeeze on it. All right, that's her. I am a little worried about the sound that I'm hearing coming out of this engine exhaust leak but i'm hearing noise from here i'm worried it runs too smooth though for it to be missing uh 
or have a drop piston. Look at that, it starts right up. I think it just needs some TLC. We won't know till we get into it. There's something wrong with it. There's something real wrong with it. Oh, hard bone white. That definitely indicates a problem. Wow. Bone white. Oh, we're running so lean. All right, that's it for tonight. This is a huge indicator that there's a fuel delivery problem. And I think once I fix that, this bike is going to purr like a kitten. And I'm going to clean it up. We're going to steal wool, wax. Uh, we're going to do everything possible to make this thing look beautiful. So that's it. Thanks for following along. You guys have a great night. I'll be back around with a new video. This is just a kickoff of the KZ750 Rescue. <laughs> have a good night, guys. God bless you. Bye-bye. Okay.